She doesn't know it, but by sharing some of her baby's milk, Shorty, the elephant from which these samples are being collected, could be saving many more calves. Mortality rates of orphaned elephants are high, and researchers have zeroed in on the cause. We think that a, a large part of this is to do with the, the actual milk, because elephant milk appears to be completely unique compared to other animals. Um, whereas cow's milk has got lactose, for example, in quite a, a, a large quantity um, as the carbohydrate, elephant milk has got much less lactose. Um, so you probably find these calves get um, somewhat lactose intolerant. Many subsequently die from diarrhea. Researchers here are now working with counterparts in South Africa to try to unlock what makes up elephant milk so they can come up with a substitute that can be tolerated. They've been gathering samples every two weeks for a year and intend to do so for the entire period of lactation. That means there's another two years before the full findings of the research. The important thing is that the constituents, the milk um, carbohydrate to protein to fat ratios, change a lot um, throughout the period of lactation. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're in a situation with elephants where you can't just have a single milk replacer. Um, one that's formulated for a, a, a month-old calf is not going to be suitable um, for a calf that's two years old, for example. Elephant poaching is spreading. Over 20,000 African jumbos were killed for their ivory in 2013, according to CITES. More calves are being left vulnerable and in need of surrogate care, which will be more effectively given if the research underway here succeeds. Fale Mokutuya, CGTN. Harare, Zimbabwe.